Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to import the values from Excel file and load it into your data grid view. So first of all, let me show you what I'm going to teach you today. So I have this button from which I will choose the file. Let me choose some Excel file like this test. XLS and the path will be copied in your text box and here I will write the sheet number in which my data is present as you know excel file contains no, contains number of sheets and in whatever sheet your data is just write the name of that sheet here and then when I click load excel all excel values or all data which is present in the excel file will be loaded into my data grid view so this i am going to show you today okay so first of all let me show you uh, the excel file which i am using i have this text excel file here and when I open it I have some data here which has EID name surname and age and some data for that okay and I will show now the code for this what I have done is I have taken two text boxes from here so take two text boxes from your toolbox and I have named first text box as text box underscore path because it will contain my path and the second text box uh, I have named text box sheet because it will uh, hold the name of the sheet and I have taken two button one to choose the file and one to load excel file into the data grid view so just take two button and rename them according to your convenience so first of all we will write the code for choose file this code I have shown you in number of previous videos also so just a short review write open file dialog give a variable name is equal to new open file dialog bracket and bracket close if this open file dialog dot show dialog bracket is equal to system dot windows dot forms dot dialog result dot ok and then in the if condition you will write this dot text box path dot text which is the name of my this text box this one text box path path so this is this dot text box name dot text is equal to open file dialog variable dot file name so for what this code will do is it will open a file dialog and it will copy the path of the file and put it into your text box okay so write this code second thing we are going to do is we are going to load the excel file so just click load excel file button and we will reach to the load click excel file but before that we need to import one file so write this above your code write using system dot data dot o l e d b okay so this is the import you need to do in order to load an excel file into your data grid view now once again i will go to the button click event and here i have written some code okay so I will show you what I have written 
so here I have declared a string and I name it as path con by mistake it's path c p n n so path con so this will contain the connection path of my XML for, uh, Excel file and in the string write this double claw quote and write provider is equal to Microsoft dot jet dot OLED in capital please remember that it's case sensitive so please see and write the code uh, carefully so once again provider is equal to Microsoft dot jet dot OLED B capital dot 4.0 and then give this semicolon then write data source is equal to double quote so this is one string which is completed so this is in double quotes this from this to here and in the plus plus sign in between the plus plus sign here I am writing the path text box path so this is text box name whose name is text box path dot text plus I will add some other string so here write double quotes and then semicolon close and write extended properties is equal to slash double quote excel 8.0 semicolon and then write hdr is equal to yes semicolon slash double quote semicolon then double quote and then close your string so I think you just copy this uh, string I will just move this screen to this string once again so you will be able to copy okay copy from here to here now in the second line write OLEDB connection con is equal to new OLEDB connection and here pass this string variable okay and then in the next line write OLEDB data adopter give a variable name my data adopter or whatever name you want to give is equal to new OLEDB data adopter and in the bracket right select star from this square bracket and double quote and then plus text box sheet this is the text box name of uh, the text box where I'm going to write my sheet number so text box dot text plus double quote this dollar sign and then square bracket and then double quote and comma your connection which you have declared here okay and in the next line write data table dt is equal to new data table bracket and bracket closed and then write my data adopter which is this data adopter dot fill dt which is this variable name and then take the name of your data grid view so this is my data grid view which I have taken from here I will show you this one so take a data grid view and drop it here and then just copy the name of this data grid view 
so in my case this data grid view name is data grid view 1 and once again go to the code and here this is data grid view dot data source is equal to dt which is this variable okay so just write this code in order to load the excel file so if you want you can pause the video also but it's not covering the whole code and just write the code now let's uh, see if it runs or not but first of all I want to give some suggestion to you if you are using excel file so for example I, I want to create a new excel file because I have uh, installed Microsoft Office 2007 so it will generate an Excel sorry so once again I will create a new document I want to create a Microsoft Office Excel worksheet and I will not change its name so because I have Microsoft Office 2007 and if you have Microsoft Office 2007 and later version of Microsoft Office it will generally have the extension XLX XLSX this extension but our code is made for only SXLS extension these three letters and it is not made for as Excel as X so now there is a problem for you because it will not load this Excel as X file but it will load Excel as file so how to convert this file into Excel as file just open this file and go to your file options go to save and save as excel 97 to 2003 worksheet so just click it and i will name something weird and i will save it and if you can see here come here down here this properties of this now it's saved as dot xls file so you can change xl as uh, x file into xls file by this trick if you are having Microsoft Office 2007 or later. Now let's try to run the program. So I will choose the path of the file which is this test.xls file and I will give the sheet number sheet1 because my data is present in the sheet1 and I will press load excel and all data from that sheet will come here okay so if you can see here my data is present on sheet number one so sheet number one is this here so I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now